Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how I'm gonna dry cut my hair and how I'm gonna style it with hot rollers for my new spring and summer 2020 look. So without further ado, let's begin. So what I'm gonna be doing for my haircut today, I am doing it dry. If you're looking for just like a more basic trim, head over to my winter hair care. There's a small section in the video that shows me just trimming the ends. But what I'm gonna be doing with all this beautiful hair that I have grown over winter is I'm gonna be putting in hidden layers. So it's a very different technique. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna section off my hair um, in rows as I work my way up. I'm just gonna clip that out of the way. Any clip will do. And I really love my hair long and sometimes I do wear it poker straight, but other times I feel like when I'm round brushing it and flat ironing or wanting to put more different styles into it, it's a little bit heavy and there's not obviously a lot of movement. So what I'm gonna be doing is creating um, hidden layers and what that's gonna do, it's gonna give my hair some beautiful movement, more body, um, it's gonna look super fresh. So here I go. What I'm doing is I'm putting my fingers through my hair and I'm splitting the sections. And with my scissors, I'm just doing a little bit of um, texturizing, slide cutting, or also known as the butterfly. And what I'm doing is I'm actually just removing a little bit of weight from my hair. So it is a very different technique. Um, and I'm not going too high up here because I have naturally uh, wavy, curly hair. So just kind of focusing more uh, even below the mid shaft and just very carefully removing some of the weight. This is a very clever technique. You're definitely not going to see much difference like as I'm doing it, but when I style it, you're going to be like, whoa. So you definitely need to know how to feel for what areas kind of need to be removed. Um, and it's still going to look long. And one length if I wear it straight. So I'm just going to trim a little bit of that in there looking a little bit and then I'm gonna just keep making my way um, all the way up and over in this area is where I really need a bit of work and some help because it's getting hard to round brush in this area Okay, so the haircut that doesn't look like a haircut at the moment, but let me show you how much I've taken out. And I gotta say, my hair already just feels so much better. But yeah, so that's a lot of weight that's been in. But look, it's still long. You can't tell where the layers are. Um, so if I want to wear a poker straight, I get to do that. Yay. Okay. Hot roller time. So, um, 
I guess it depends on uh, where, you, how much body you want and everything, and how much curl you want or movement. Um, but I usually, oh, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna check this last section because here it's always so heavy on me. So I'm actually gonna pull it forward on myself. If you were a hairdresser, you don't need to do that. I'm just gonna do one in the last section. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting uh, my first uh, hot roller here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, use a heat protectant. The one I'm using is from Flow. And I'm gonna mist that all over. And I'm just gonna mist some to my comb as well. You know, I am tempted to do one last one. Okay. All right, let's get into the hot rollers. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting a hot roller at the more of the crown and back. I just find that it's a little bit easier to start here on yourself. Maybe with a client, it's a little different. And that's a little bit too big of a section. I'm just gonna split that there. And I'm not looking for anything like super perfect today. So I'm just wrapping the ends and I'm placing it on base. I want a little bit of a lift there, why not? We're gonna go for it, go for it, I guess. If you really want maximum vo volume, you gotta really over direct it. And then I'm gonna take another section and I'm using, um, larger size ones for the top and then I'm actually going to use um, the smaller ones for the bottom and then what I'm doing with the clip is I'm actually placing it on the side and that way you won't get that indent. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit. Sorry. So this is just going to be more of um, this more of a relaxed, quick at home um, technique. So for this one, I want to create maybe the hair to sit um, off to the side or something. So I'm actually over directing the hair, and I'm going to wrap the ends around. I want a little bit of a curl there. And as I roll it down, I'm going to start to twist it so that it's facing, the rod is facing this way a bit there. And I think for this one, I'm just going to use um, a clip that comes with the hot rollers there. It feels good. I don't know if it's gonna stay. I might have to put a clip there. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Well, that 
feels pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply um, a little bit of a hairspray. This is a workable hairspray. Um, it's very soft, smells amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back after just over 10 minutes and it's time to take them out. And this is my new spring summer haircut for 2020. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, till next time.